Hey, welcome to another magnetization video, this time with a Tau broadside. Uh, I've continued building up my son's army, uh, and I picked up three Tau broadsides in a trade for some dead zone that I didn't really like, uh, so I traded it off for other things that I did like. Um, so the Tau broadside comes with two main weapon options and two backpack or shoulder mounted weapon options, as well as a seeker missile or a support system. So I wanted to give my son the ability to flip back and forth. He's new with it. He doesn't know what he likes the best. Um, and I like to play with magnets. Um, the number of magnets this takes. In this version, I tried it a couple different ways. I have uh, another one that um, I did. But for this version, it took 6 to 8 of the 1 8 by 1 16 magnets uh, for all of the shoulder mounted and backpack stuff. The reason I say 6 to 8 is depends on how many of the different support systems you want to magnetize on there. Um, but a minimum of six. Uh, I used two 3 16th by 1 32nd magnets, uh, and those are the ones that mount on the body. And then I used four 3 16th by 1 8th magnets, and those are the uh, ones for the actual main weapons. Uh, so, <clears throat> to get started, uh, the first thing you do is you build it up to, but don't put any of the weapons on. So what it'll look like is you'll have a pile, something like this. Um, the only thing not to do is don't put these mounts on the support systems or the shoulder mounted weapons yet, but everything else you can build up to the part where you would start gluing them onto the main body. Again, just like with the Riptide, I left this off, um, the main body off, and it's just because one, it'll be, make it easier to paint, and then I'll decide. Uh, after I paint how he'll store them and whether I'll put them on or not. Okay, so back to the actual magnetized one. Uh, let's pull all this off. So what you'll have is that pile and then these. Alright, so for the, let's start with the shoulder mounted backpack weapons. I tried to do this with as little drilling as possible this time. Uh, so these pieces are these and this is the one piece that gets used uh, by more than one thing so it's the one you end up having to magnetize uh, there's one for uh, the get it right here yeah this one there's one for the shoulder mounted uh, weapons and then one for the support system or the seeker missile uh, the only thing you'll have to decide is if you're going to do magnetize the seeker missile on the support side you know when it's a support system they have it up like this for the seeker they have it like this not a big deal in my mind uh, I decided to magnetize it so before you put them on to this um, you just take this little piece here you don't have to do any any kind of uh, drilling and you just put glue in uh, the 1 8 by 1 16th magnet the only thing is make sure you get a little toothpick or something and hold it straight so it doesn't come at an angle or you'll end up with a bent over uh, a weapon. All right. So then you set set these aside, and then these. When you've got them put together at this point, they have a little. You can see the difference here. If I can get my fat fingers out of the way. Uh, you've got the little tab. You snip off that tab, and then you put the magnet here. Oops, sorry. You snip off this tab right there, and then you just glue the magnet on flat, and then you do that for this the seeker once it's built has the same little tab seeker missile and then all of the support systems have it all right so then you just set those aside and you work on the main guns all right what I found to work best I tried drilling them in it's kind of a pain on this body to do that uh, and you need the bigger the bigger piece don't try the smaller magnets I did on the first one my first uh, go round. I tried two different ways just to test it you're not going to have one that was kind of ugly. Um, this one was a little too fat to get the main gun, uh, the rail gun, to, to sit right. And when I, I tried a smaller one and glued it in, this one does not have quite the power you need uh, to hold 
the weapons. It's just not quite as good. It's okay, it'll work, but you can see how it's not quite strong enough. Uh, so, this way worked better. I mean, that way works fine, but... Uh, so I take the thinner magnet, the 316 by 132nd, I snip the little round peg, this piece here, and I snipped it off at this angle. With You can see this, this angle right there. I snipped it with that. And then I just glued them on flat. But at that angle, you can see. They do that on both sides, and that's actually that piece done. These, then I took a quarter inch drill bit and just gently with my hand, because you'll snap this piece off if you put too much torque on it. Um, just enough to where I could get this down flush on these two pieces. But then you do them at an angle. When you put the magnet in, make sure it's at a little bit of an angle. Because if you don't, if you lay it flat, they're going to be pointing in like that. If you see what I mean. They'd be like that, would be flat. So you put it at a little angle so it offsets off this so you can get it straight. Like that. Uh, again, you don't want him looking like he's, you know, rubbing his hands because he's cold. Um, Alright, so simple. That's the only piece on this to remember. If you just lay it all the way in flat, it doesn't work as well. And you drill it just with your hand. Just doesn't take a ton. Just a little bit so it gets a little, little more flush. And then for this one, what I did is I did the same thing with the drill bit. Gentle hand, quarter inch drill bit. Both these sides. Laid the, I laid the uh, magnets in flat, make sure everything, all the polarities go this way, without gluing this piece yet. Then I put some glue on here, put them on, and dragged it together. Um, so they don't sit 100% flush, as you can see right down in there, it's not quite flush. I could have angled it a little bit better, but it works fine. Um, and that's how I did it. So, let me find another piece. So, I put the magnets in. Where'd it go? There it is. Then I put it in there. Then I did put the glue on and then glued it in. I don't know. Does it matter? Can you glue it here first? Probably really doesn't. Probably really doesn't matter. It's just easier to play with the magnets without it glued together. All right, and that is everything you need to do. So you can that gun, seeker missile on the back, guns on top. Now the only thing is, so here's a support system. So it's like that instead of up straight. That's the only real difference from gluing the model on. Pull that off. And it does go on there pretty good. If you want to have Mr. Super Missile. Oop. Oh, that's backwards. Ah. other missile arm. Oh, here it is. You can have... Yeah, there we go. Every missile option you've got. Alright, so that's it. That's the entire thing. Pretty simple. Um, probably other ways to do it. Um, but it was fast. It was easy. Did two of them in an afternoon and, and almost a third one. Um, so I'll go magnetize that one and I'll be done with broadsides. All right, uh, until next time, thanks for watching, and happy wargaming.